welcome Mr. Azevedo, your percussion and jambre teacher speaking to you. Today we will learn how to do a flunk. Flunk is when you play two notes together but one just before the real note. Lift your right hand a little bit more than the left and just before the right hand touch, the, the left hand will be playing. Let's do that in the first tempo counting like this. Are you ready to play jump B? 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 Excellent. Now let's do a bit slower and now we will start adding notes for that sentence. We will be saying in a loop. Are you ready to play jambé? And I will start with one note, then I will add two more notes, will be pla, pa, ba. Then you add note by note, okay? Let's count very slow and play just the first note first. One, two, three, four. Are you ready to play jambé? Are you ready to play jambé? To play jump B. Are you ready to play jump B? 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 Excellent. Now repeat once after me. One, are you ready to play jambé for me? One for you. Okay, now let's do together after my counting. I will say three, four, and we do together. Are you ready to play a bit? Just once. Three, four. Again, same thing. I say three, four. We do are you ready to play a bit together? Three, four. Once more, three, four. Now we will do the Afro beat and I will count one, two, three, four in the very end for we do are you ready to play jambé and stop, okay? First I will count one, two, three, four for we start together the are you ready to play jambé. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now let's work the type of sound we will be taking from the jambé drum. The first sound will be the bass sound, which you will do a flat hand on the center of the drum and we bounce as soon we play the skin. As soon you touch the skin playing, you lift your hand again, being ready to the next note. 
okay? And with your left hand, we will do a open down sound, which you will be doing a little shell with your hand. The fingers can be touching each other, and we do this sound. It's not the highest sound, the slap, but the open tone, a little shell playing on the side of the drum. Okay, if we mix both, we have already two types of sound. Going back to the Afro beat, we will have bass, 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 side, bass, side, bass, 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 side, bass, side, eh? or open tone, bass, open tone, bass again. Let's watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You can join me. Now we learned how to play the Afro beat and how to answer to the call, are you ready to play Jambé? Let's do that in three different speeds. First time medium tempo, more or less this. Are you ready to play Jambé? Yes, 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 let's play that. Then I will stop and we will do much slower than that. Are you ready to play Jambé? Yes, yes, let's play that. Then we stop after a while and then let's do faster, like this. Go ahead, you ready to play jambe? Yes, 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 let's play that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's do now. After my call, you can join me playing the Afro beat. I do the call in this next tempo, you are you start playing. the basic rhythm and also we can play in three different speeds. Now I'd like to show you that detail which I have been adding to my rhythm, which is this. There 
there are two ways to do that. One way is alternating the hands, moving one hand once to the side, to the center, and then moving the another hand to the center. And another way is just playing the, the double note on the side with the same hand, like this. Let's learn how to do that. You can do center, You can do right hand in the center, left hand in the side, but in the fourth tempo you will change like this. It will be right left, right left, and then your left hand goes to the center. I'm playing the opposite, and then you can just follow as a mirror. When I play my right hand in the center, you play your left hand in the center. When I play my left hand in the center, you play your right hand in the center. It will be like this. <laughs> 